Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Grand Cat and welcome to another Grand Cat unboxing review. Today we have the classic Metal Sonic. This is, I think, the 18th or 19th Metal Sonic figure that I own. But this one is always slightly different from the others. Um, if you want me to do a full video on all the Metal Sonics, do let me know. I even have a custom of the Neo Metal Sonic from Sonic Heroes, which is very, very cool. I think maybe some of you have seen it in photographs. But I've never actually done a video of it before, so if you want to see that, do let me know. But this is classic Metal Sonic, there he is in the back. Now of course they did release the classic version because Sonic originally, or the Metal Sonic, originally came out in Sonic CD. Now Sonic CD was technically the second game in the series, even though it came out after Sonic 2, because Sonic CD was in production after Sonic 1 but before Sonic 2 was in production but Sonic 2 was released on the Mega Drive before Sonic CD came out in the Sega CD because they had problems with the CD drive and making that work. So that is why those are a little bit swapped around. That Sonic 2 is, frankly, in my opinion, a much, much better game than Sonic CD is, but Sonic CD came out after it because Sonic CD was supposed to be a follow-on from Sonic 1 even though Sonic 2 is a direct sequel to Sonic 1. So <laughs> there you are, there's a little bit of history for you. But um, this is the classic Metal Sonic. Um, you can see in the back, it comes with uh, the same line as Ray. Uh, you've got the classic Tails, the modern Sonic, and Mighty the Armadillo in there as well. So um, differences between modern uh, Metal Sonic and classic Metal Sonic. Um, there is a slight bit of shade difference in the blue and the metal that he uses. Of course, uh, classic Metal Sonic is made to the same scale as the classic figures. So uh, we need to get his ears out of here. Uh, for any of you that are new to the channel, um, I show the entire unboxing all the way from the very beginning to the end. There's no jump cuts. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's really in refusal. So this is the ASMR segment of the review. Where you get to hear the frustration that we go through in releasing I'm going to see it's almost there. The ears are really getting in the way there. Can I just get this thick out? I think. There we go. There. Oh, that was an ordeal. But now we have Metal Sonic in all of his glory. So let's look at the articulation first. Uh, the head does move, but just barely because I think the shoulders are kind of latching onto the side. Um, the paintwork looks fine all the way around. Uh, in terms of movements, uh, the shoulders. I kind of prevent them moving a little bit. Um, I'm, not, I'm not even sure if the, the arms move up and down. Yeah, they do. They are on a ball joint. You can kind of see the ball joint just in there. So they should move. But the shoulder is really kind of preventing those that movement there. Uh, the knee joints do not move, uh, but we do have the leg movement. So the big question with these classic figures is, does he stand? And he does! He stands really easily. That is awesome, actually. Um, because with a lot of the classic figures, those are really, really difficult um, to get them to stand in a way that looks nice. But it looks like they have fixed that issue. And there, oh, <laughs> I said that, and now he's, he's testing me a little bit. Maybe I spoke a bit too soon there, but Okay, no, it still seems to sit fine. It's just that the feet aren't perfectly matched up to one another, so he does tend to lean to the side a little bit. Which is strange, because all uh, classic Metal Sonics have had that same problem. Uh, this is the first articulated um, classic Metal Sonic that we've had that is to this scale. Um, so that is very cool to see. Um, this is one I've been waiting for for quite a while, actually. So... Um, even though he looks pretty much exactly the same as all the other Metal Sonics, um, in terms of continuity, this one is um, quite a bit different. This one is quite iconic because this is the original Sonic CD version um, of the Metal Sonic character. Um, so, um, there we are. Yeah, just a little size comparison. 
we can compare them to uh, Ray the Squirrel and you can see that they are perfectly to the same scale um, as one another. Um, so it doesn't have much articulation in terms of the arms because of the giant shoulder pads that he's got there that kind of prevent him from moving. Um, he does have the the leg articulation though um, and the feet do allow him to stand uh, quite happily so that is always nice to see there. Um, but there you go, the paint job looks fantastic. Um, it certainly looks like Metal Sonic which is what you always want to see from these kind of figures. So, um, in the next video, I shall give you a little sneak peek, uh, we are going to be looking at the Flying Battery Zone, this here, which does come with the exclusive badniks um, of the Rhinobot and Chomper, I think is their names. Uh, yep, that was exactly the names. And it also comes with a brand new classic Sonic figure, which we are going to be looking at as well, and hopefully that should be to the same scale as the classic Ray the, Ray the Squirrel figure, and of course the classic Metal Sonic. So look forward to that. Um, and lastly, if you're a new if you're a new subscriber, do leave a comment below. I do like to see them. And that said, folks, that's going to be the end of this video. Um, I really hope you all enjoyed. If you liked the video, please give us a like, share, and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these videos go up. And we will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.